Sheriff's Office is working to verify the immigration status of the man charged with murder in the connection with the death of Sergeant Michael Kunovich. Kunovich passed away over the weekend. He collapsed after helping detain a man who deputies say violently resisted being arrested. The sergeant died at the hospital. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live. And Marilyn, you looked into whether the suspect's immigration status impacted his charges? They won't. And immigration attorneys let me know that one doesn't have much to do with the other. But the real question here is what caused Sergeant Kunovitz's death and if Mendez's actions contributed to it at all. An honor guard escorts the body of St. Johns County Sergeant Michael Kunovich Monday. He died in the line of duty Friday night. Flowers sit outside the sheriff's office as the department mourns this loss. 18-year-old Virgilio Anguilar Mendez is charged with felony murder in connection to the sergeant's death. The sheriff's office says Sergeant Kunovich spotted Mendez sitting outside a closed business Friday night. They say the sergeant tried to pat Mendez down for weapons, but they didn't say why, and Mendez tried to run away. So they're going to have to establish that he was in the lawful ex execution of his uh, duty. Immigration attorney Jeremy Lesnetsky says these moments could play into what the state is able to prove in the case. We're told Mendez violently resisted deputies, tried to grab the sergeant's taser while fighting with him on the ground, and armed himself with a pocket knife. Deputies say the struggle lasted more than six minutes. After he was handcuffed, Kunovich collapsed and died shortly after being taken to the hospital. This is where the felony charges come in. We spoke to News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Lakeisha Burton about this. She refers to a Florida state statute which says during the commission of a felony and someone dies, the suspect can be charged with felony murder. The suspect in this case was committing a felony by resisting with violence and committing a battery on a law enforcement officer. I think here the um, felony murder was charged because of the timing, the timing of when the resisting with violence occurred and when the medical emergency occurred. So the state's going to have to prove that the death was caused by the resisting. Um, this is going to be a case where medical records is really, really important. The defense could also look at the sergeant's health before this situation occurred. The sheriff's office says Homeland Security Investigations is helping verify Mendez's identity and his immigration status. We're told his immigration status will play no part in the criminal case. We reached out to ICE to see if they could share Mendez's status. We're waiting to hear back. Also, the attorneys let me know that if he was here unlawfully, then deputies could place him on a ICE hold, but that has nothing to do with the criminal case, so he would not be able to bond out. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.